In this tutorial, we'll talk about the research area. The research area is actually the most fundamental part of causality. It's where you create and organize beats and snippets before you decide whether to use them in the story. It's where you track which of your ideas you're currently using. And it's where things go when you pull them out of the script. It's also where you develop characters, which we'll talk about in a later tutorial. You access the research area by clicking the tab in the timeline. And then you'll often work in full screen by pressing tilde or escape. Research works like any organizer. You create folders by right clicking and giving them a name. You create beats first of all by double clicking and giving them a name. You can also right click and create a story beat. We'll explain subtext beats in another tutorial. And you can press Enter or Shift Enter on an existing beat to create one before or after. The same way, you can create snippets in Research by right clicking and Create Snippet. That'll create a standalone snippet. But I actually want it to be associated with the beat so that it gets put into the script when I use the beat. So I'll instead right click the beat and say Attach New Snippet. And then I can take a stab at writing the snippet long before I actually put it anywhere in the real script. This allows you to get started writing and hearing your characters talk but without having to immediately think about structure, which really stifles creativity. It's important to understand that this isn't just note-taking. These are real beats and real snippets that we drag into the story when we're ready to use them. So as I drag the beat into the whiteboard, the attached snippet goes into the script. And now each of them gets a green checkmark to show that they're used. This is a lot like video editing where you have assets in a bin then you can use them in the timeline. And if you don't like them, you just pull them out. It's non-destructive. The same way, deleting from the script and whiteboard is non-destructive. You're just pulling the beats and snippets back out of the story, but they keep living in research. The only way to truly delete something in causality is to delete it directly from research. Now this doesn't mean that you have to create everything in research first. When you create beats and snippets directly in the story, behind the scenes they go into the unsorted folder. At some point you should drag these items into proper folders. That's really all there is to say about research. It's both easy and very powerful. A couple of ideas for how to use it is first of all to do arcs as subfolders. Point is that a character behaves differently in different parts of an arc and it's easier to understand if you keep the phases separate. Here for example, my character has a crush, which is one of his arcs that develops over the course of the story. In the beginning, I've created a bunch of beats where he's awkward. Then in the middle, he becomes hostile and basically blows it because he doesn't feel he deserves it. And towards the end, through a crisis, he ends up showing his true self, and it turns out that she accepted him all along. I haven't come up with most of the events, but I know where to put them. You'll notice that things are ordered the way I intend for them to appear in the story. But ordering has no meaning in research. I could arrange them in any other order and it would be the same. The order is only for me to get a sense of how it might play. Next, you should create folders for character traits. I have a complex villain, and among other things, he has twisted rationalizations for everything. 
so I have a folder for that. A big part of his motivation is that he's an unrecognized hero, so I also have a folder for that. This way, all my knowledge about the character exists whether or not I use it in the story. The same way, you can make folders for things that could happen in the story. Here I have funny things that can happen. Here I have ideas for a tunnel sequence. This allows you to express ideas without having to think structure, which is too big of a responsibility this early. Especially backstory is a great thing to put in research. Backstory is torture to get through in a story, but if you put it here, you get it out of your system and it becomes part of your knowledge about the character. And then you can pepper it sparingly into the story when it makes sense. Finally, you should try to show instead of tell. Instead of writing down the character's psychological state, write something the character does from that state. This is the old saying that character is what character does. For example here, I don't just write that the character has a crush. I come up with specific things a person with a crush does. Maybe it becomes quiet when she walks into the room. Or he says awkward, fumbling things. These are events that we can actually use in the story. And instead of explaining how he feels, his actions reveal how he feels, which is much more interesting to watch.